exchange. How do you rate yourself when exchanging yourself for services? So to be of service means to offer something and that offering is yourself. Whether it be under the umbrella of uh, sewing classes, singing, uh, dance, um, being a waitress, um, uh, learning tennis lessons, they're being of service to someone. So how do you rate yourself when you exchange your service? Do you rate yourself as really poor and say, oh, look, I'm only going to charge $20 for that tennis lesson when everybody else is charging $50? When you give one thing to receive another, is it of equal value knowing you're valuable? Sometimes in that money exchange, we don't see the value. It's not about the other person, it's about you. Do you see the value in giving that exchange? So someone was telling me about a show on television, I don't know if it was recent or past, of um, where you, they would pay a dating service for multi-billionaires or millionaires or something. And so they paid like a million dollars for this lady to match them with another millionaire to get married or a dating or something like that, I'm not quite sure. But that lady knew she was being of service to these millionaires, so she charged a million dollars. And then other people might charge $10 or you've got your Tinders or your whatever the services are. I don't know how much they are or what they are. But what exchange are you offering? And do you see the value in that exchange? And yes, you can do market research of um, I'm a beautician and the beautician down the road, she charges $50 for a facial, but I want to charge $90 for a facial. Do you see value in the exchange that you give? Now you can blame it on the products because she only uses um, home brand products and you use exclusive Parisian products, but that's not part of it. It's what you're offering as well. Maybe as I do a facial with those products, which could be home brand, I offer such love and TLC, so I know the exchange has to be of a higher price compared to uh, the person next door.